Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hey, what's up guys? Meet with me again in the CNC channel. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show how to make find or search using the time picker in visualbasic.net. Okay, before I do that, this question is asking by Ricky into my Facebook page. So uh, this time I want to answer his question. I'm happy to do that. Okay, first before we to do in the project, in here I have one data grid view database. Okay, then then content table called tb underscore detail here. You can see uh, this form tb details is nothing uh, value in here or nothing contain anything in here now uh, we need to open our project in visual basic you can see if i start and running this for example i want to insert one and the date is uh, February 1, 2008, I want to insert, you can see here, the ID and name is like this, or I will change the column text from name to date, for example, okay, like this, and then I want to input the second for example is friday in 2 february i will to insert again and then for three i want to insert uh, 16. Okay. this is just for example guys and let's see in our database okay you can see here this is the values okay Now, how to make a search using this the time picker? If we click this or change the value, the program will trying to uh, finding the date in here. Now, uh, let's do click on your date time picker, especially for you, Ricky. Click on your date time picker, and then just click even and then double click in value chains even in here okay then you can go to your code you can see this is the time picker one value chains okay you must define uh, for example value of the time picker format in here i'm using day month and year this format like this so while you are input in the database using this format you will need to find or search with the time picker using this format also if you don't do like that you will not find the record of your database okay if uh, you are clear about the logic let's do try to the code for finding a database with value chains of the time picker okay team da I'm sorry this is for sql statement ricky i want to select and for all i'm using asterisk like this from tb underscore details okay this tb details it's mean in our database ricky in here okay in tb details okay select where 
okay where names because our field name is names in here okay equal to this i mean ricky okay i want to show you in here what's i mean okay for you ricky especially to find this uh, format you must using also uh, this input format before you can find using the search format for the time picker you must using the input format for the time picker in here we will show the day month and year so we just copy paste from this from input or update in here for the time picker in the SQL statement in here that is the logic okay uh, and the last is I want to close form okay let's try to uh, with enter like this okay uh, Ricky I, 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 I will explain the logic if you want to search about the time figure value you must uh, match with your input in this case the input is equal like this for day using this format day space does space month space does space year like this same with or equal with the insert format because the insert is like this so you must find the date time weaker value in database using this format like the input format you will find the record if you search or find using the time picker let's to continue okay if the statement is or the record we search with this the time figure format is nothing record or nothing uh, value in the database we will show the music book if the record or the data is not found if the data found then we try using SQL statement again we must close the connection first before we open again sorry my connection like this
for the comment text we uh, found or find the record using this SQL statement so we can copy paste in here for fast of course like this okay select asterisk from tb data where names is equal to this but because we using uh, start like this we need to ending like that too okay uh, we need to close the bracket like this okay and then uh, for the adapter this is guys using our my comment variable for the adapter we will fill with uh, the table in here Okay, this statement is mean we found the record. This is because more than zero. So uh, the data we found, then we need to uh, show in the data grid view in this case using which statement to your <laughs> script. Okay, like this. Sorry. And wait with the grid view. Yes, the grid view one. Okay, like this. And for the next command, we just uh, using dot in here. Auto generate column in here. Generate columns equal to false like this and for the data source equal to the table guys and especially for you Ricky that columns for columns zero we will using data property in here equal to ID for fill ID and we can copy this to first for column one equal to names because our fill call ID and names we back in the database you can see here ID and names okay ID and names so uh, we using data properties ID and name here. <laughs> Look, uh, Ricky, this is done. Let's try to find. Okay, I will view here. You can see, uh, especially Ricky. If I uh, change, for example, to twenty four, because nothing did with twenty four. We will uh, don't see or the data is not found and you can see data with the date is not found try another date we will click OK but if we change to uh, date 1 look at this I'm sorry the connection is already open 
we need to close okay uh, where is uh, we need to close in here my connection close and also in here I'm sorry I forget to do that let's start again okay if I found for example 24 data with the data with the date is not found try another date I try with 25 also and for one okay the date is found and then for two the date is found and for 16 the date is found okay if 13 data with the date is not found try another date okay but uh, in here using the value that change uh, we have little bit problem <laughs> what is that you can see if we input the date for example id4 we will try using the date is now the date is now is 22 okay and then we will insert data save we have for record with the real time date we close you can see if using like this we not uh, get the value chain on the time picker so uh, you can just uh, adding button for example and using this you can change the properties for tag it's find data like this okay after that you can hit this and then just doing like this Ricky uh, sub find it doing like this and then input into uh, even button and did change so you can just like this find it Okay, we found <laughs> that's all Ricky uh, if we using 28 data with data is not found if we click also will uh, she this message okay uh, you can also disable in the time if you want like this and start again if using this we not get anything but if we click the response will Okay, for example, uh, did now. No March, <laughs> but February. I'm sorry. This now, find the data. Okay, found it. Okay, uh, that's all tutorial. How uh, to find data using the time picker. That's all uh, tutorial for today. And thanks, Richie, for your question. Uh, I think it's enough. Okay, uh, the last. You can download uh, this code or this project in my site, www.news.co.id slash web slash vb. Okay, uh, you can download source codes in here. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.